These are very toxic drugs. I mean, what chemotherapy does is it pretty much it gives poison to the body, and most of the drugs are not disease specific. So you throw a lot of poison at the body, hoping that it will affect cancer cells before it affects healthy cells. And what you're trying to do really is to use the right amount of medication, but how do you do that? How do you know what is the right amount of medication? How do you help the body to fight all the side effects at the same time? What do you do when you have more than one chemotherapeutic agent that you want to use? Should you go and use all three of them, let's say, at the same time? Or should you do them one after the other? What's the best strategy? If you have a bacterial infection and you go to a doctor and the doctor prescribes antibiotics, um, okay, what does the doctor do? Gives you, you know, a pill or two, at, you know, twice a day, four times a day, you know, take it for 10 days, it works, it works, it doesn't work, well, let's increase the dosage, let's change the medication, but I think it's really based on the specific state that you're in. I mean, yeah, they look at your blood tests and see that something is wrong and you have an infection and you have to be treated, but that does not tell them how much of the medication a patient should take, uh, which medication to use, in some sense, medicine is a little bit more of an art than a science. What I'm trying to do is to bring quantitative tools to the field of medicine, pretty much figuring out how to better treat patients. This is an ongoing project. What we really are doing is, you know, we get data, let it be experimental data, clinical data, and we develop mathematical models that try to understand this data, interpret it, and then provide some suggestions to the clinicians and to the experimentalists what they should try, what they should try to do, what they should try to collect, how they should try to treat patients. You hope that chemotherapy can be administered in more of a quantitative way. It's not enough to have tools. You want to know how to use the tools to treat the disease. I think we'll make a lot of progress on that. I'm quite confident in that.